New 8 TV, The Lofters. Sandy's flipped for her new guy, Adam. Did you think of starting to work out after you saw yourself this shirt off? We are a group of Canadians in downtown law where we work at a TV station hosting programs on everything. News and music, sex and game shows. We also live in the love. Cameras everywhere, 24-7, UHTV.com. This is our reality. this really cute guy to the loft during Spin the Bottle one night. And we started flirting that night. His name is Adam. We talk on the phone a lot, and we see each other a lot, and it's been four weeks. If I were to give Adam advice about Sandy, I couldn't. One word to describe Sandy? Smile. Outrageous. Opinionated. Controlling. Confused. Since we move in the loft, Sandy has been seeing a lot of guys, you know, but never more than one or two dates, right? She just likes to see them. She likes to say that she doesn't have virgin lips anymore. She likes to kiss them and to run. We call this kiss and run. But um, now she met a new guy that makes Sandy blush. I saw Sandy blush for the first time since she met Adam. And Adam is just like the perfect boyfriend for Sandy. That's all. Did you watch the show, sir? Hmm? Did you watch the show? Yep. That guy's cute. My name's Adam Block, but uh, my friends call me a Hollywood hunter. When I first met Sandy, I thought she's a lot different than the girls that I know. I am 20. I'm turning 21 in July. Uh, July 29th. I like in a girl that she is pretty. <laughs> it's funny that that's my first uh, my first characteristic. She's got to be pretty. She's got to be really friendly, um, creative, I guess. Uh, she has to be interesting. I got to be able to hold a conversation with her because if you can't, then there's no point of uh, of being together. I gotta go meet with my agent for five seconds. And then I can I'll be ready to do stuff at three if you want to do stuff. Okay, so come by the loft. At three? Park or whatever, yeah. Are you leaving at right at three? Well, no, a little after. All right. So I'll be there. Okay, wait for me. I'll wait for you. Whoa. Don't, don't you worry. I don't get into an accident. I met Sandy because uh, Dave invited me up to the loft. He's like, he knows that I'm into this kind of thing. And he said, if you ever want to come up and check it out, come up. So I did, and I thought I'd go up once, see what it's all about, and then never go back. But you guys were filming a show called Blind... No, not Blind... Uh, bottle split spin the bottle and uh, I was sitting there and Sandy came up and talked to me then after the show we just hung out for like two hours and it was fun she was cool I thought this was really she was really pretty and she was really fun she's a lot different than the girls that I know because uh, she's got like darker hair and darker skin and I'm always used to like the blonde hair and the lighter skin so I thought it'd be she was really pretty because she was a lot different than everyone else I knew she's a very like strong person and like I guess you all know this but she's pretty strong and she's very aggressive and she has to have it her way hurry up brush your teeth hurry up and brush your teeth and I'm a pretty chilled out mellow guy so whatever you know that's my motto whatever why did you think that when you came out with your shirt off my motto whatever people think I should go to the gym I guess Sandy thinks I should go to the gym I really try to go to the gym but it's really not interesting to me 
I guess it's something that every person should do to feel good for themselves or to make themselves look good for other people. Whatever your reason is, it's a good thing. But every time I go, I do it for two or three weeks. I do my bench press and my push-ups, and I do a lot of it, and I'm pretty good at it. But it's so boring. But I keep doing it for three weeks, two, three weeks, and I honestly feel that there's no difference. I don't see a difference. Look at those pythons. So how can I keep working at something that's not interesting and I see no results? So I guess if I had dedication into doing it for about six weeks, seven weeks, eight weeks, I'd start seeing a difference. But I just, my brain can't think that far ahead when it comes to working out. It's like, I don't see a result now, I'm done. I think Sandy's body is, uh, it's, she has a really good body. I, she doesn't have to work out if she wants to. Like, I don't really care about stuff like that, but I mean, if she wants to, uh, if she wants to work out, that's cool. I don't think she has to work out. I think she has a really good body. Better than a lot of people in the city of Toronto. So shape up, but uh, everyone else. But no, she's got a really good body. I don't have a gel thing that I'm trying to fit a girl to. Because everyone says, like, what's your perfect girl? And I don't have that because you're never going to find it. So what's the point of making uh, minimums of something that's never going to happen? There's so many different ways that someone can be pretty that... I, I don't know. I just take it as they come. What I like in a girl, I just like that she's appealing to me. Well, it is the day before Christmas, one of my favorite days of the year, and we're watching Sandy's Love Life. Isn't that wonderful? Okay, this is how you can get more involved with what's going on uh, with her and, and Adam. I think they had a little fight. So this is how you check it out. www.uatv.com is our webpage. Click into it. Go to the video archive right here, and that's where you can find the fight along with tons of other golden moments from the year. But guys, have a very good Christmas, or otherwise have really good holidays. And I'm going to get ready because I think I'm going with Santa Claus this year. At least to steal his gifts. Anyway, check you soon. big change in Sandy because she's always, you know, there's a lot of cool people around so she's always got a crush, you know, but I think this time around it's a bit different. I saw her kind of, kind of off garden, kind of giggly, you know, kind of. All right, dude, 2.30, I should be up in an hour. It's 2.30? Yeah. What time are you waking up? 4.30? I've got two and a half hours of sleep now. Okay, good night. Good night. I'm going to wake you up right now. Listen, if I call you a bitch, will you wake up? <laughs> no, I'll just get turned on. See, that's the real reason. I don't want you to call me a bitch because it turns me on. You're going to start masturbating. I'm going to. Okay, good night. No. I'll talk to you in a week. I want to talk to you guys. Okay, I'll talk to you in six days. Bye. Part of the excitement for him is me being a lofter as well. And I'm, I can't blame him because if it was the other way around, it would be exciting for me that way too. But you, can't, you kind of can't shake that when you're meeting new people. Like, why are they really, you know, really into you? But then again, I met, you know, a lot of people this year, and he's a lot of fun to hang out with. I enjoy his company as, you know, he enjoys mine. So, I mean, if that's a part of it, well, hey, I would be excited if it was the other way around too. What is he, what is he saying? All well, he wants to be a lot the next year, so he wants to be a lot next year. So obviously he does it. Serious? Yeah, obviously he enjoys it. Would it make oh, you feel like you know? And that's why lot. I'm kind of like yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. I did not oh, that know. Uh, actually, sort of you know what I told him? Bit, eh? You know what I told him? I said, you're not going to be a lofter if you're, you know, on the show now a couple uh, of times. You're played did, out. He didn't want it. Next year is going to be eight new people. From what I know, he didn't know a lot about the like, show oh. until he actually came up here. And then he's like, oh, this is actually kind of cool. I think I'd want to do this after kind of getting filmed. Okay. But he so still, he, he the fact that though? he wants to be an actor, not really. Mm. 
we don't really well, talk right, about then. it. And I told him he but wasn't going to Whatever. Be. Who cares, right? It's not like I'm majorly serious with the guy. Yeah, it sort of hit the awkward stage. And, well, not really. I think on my part, I was worried because I'm the one who's on TV. Like, he could be going out with other people, and how the hell would I know? There's not a camera in his face every second. But if he sees me going out with somebody else, is he going to get all, you know, paranoid? And we kind of did talk about that. And he, the way he sees things, if he's going out with somebody that he really cares about, then he doesn't care to see anybody else. And for me, it's not about that I really want to see other guys. It's more of the fact that if I'm seeing other guys, then at least it's not that serious. I don't want to be out. Oh, I thought you, I didn't need to. No, you can't. Do oh, no, I don't need to. You don't want me to, you don't want to be out? Well, why should I? You, don't, you do or you don't? No, no. Okay. Bye. <laughs> you can give me, you can talk to me. Okay. Oh, my God. Okay, what do you want, Adam? Just. Uh, you give me a message saying what? Call me, I need to speak to you. It wasn't my shout out? No, it was like where you were like answering questions. Oh, but did I comment on yours? No. Nope. Then I didn't see it. I have a message. Okay, but I didn't see it. Whatever. I didn't. I want to tell you something. I can't tell you on a good phone. Um, oh, you want to tell me how much you like me? I told everybody on chat that you said that you love me. That you what? Nothing. That I love you? <laughs> Is that what you said? <laughs> yeah. Because I was asking, can you guys hear hear him? They're like, no, 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 we don't give a shit about your conversation, somebody says. So I'm like, well, I just wanted to see if you guys heard that he, he said that he loved me. Why is your, is your goal along with UAT to make him look like the biggest loser? Adam, biggest please get a life. <laughs> the biggest idiot, desperate idiot. Are you telling me that you don't love me? I gotta say something. The reason I, I did really like Adam was because when he came over um, for Jen's... A huge party thingy um, he was telling me how he's gonna do codes in my pager and he's saying see for example like if I was gonna page you I wanted to say I love you and I'm like you're gonna page me and say you love me he's like yeah say I'm gonna page you and say I love you right this is how I would do it and he was like explaining the code to me oh, I love you Sandy well thank you that was a joke, though, when I was, you know, talking to chatters and I was saying, um, oh, I'm just telling all the chatters that you're saying I love you. And then he did say I love you. Um, you know, I don't think we're at the love part, you know, yet. <laughs> well, I saw Dave yesterday. It's pretty funny. We had a long chat at a bar. We were at Shark City on Thursday night. Um, I wasn't with him there, but I saw him there. Um, he was sitting hanging out with some buddies, so I went over and spoke to him for a bit, started talking to him. I went up to him and gave him the old, hey, buddy, where are the cameras? Because that's what everyone always says to me. I, w I was a bit pissed off, but then I saw Dave and I spoke to him and he, and he explained everything to me. What are you talking about? About UATV? Yeah. F*** you. What? I been slightly bothered that a lot of the wafters have been saying that he's only been hanging out in the loft and hanging out with me because he wants to be a wafter next year and because he wants exposure because he wants to be an actor so every time he phones me up he's freaking out about how the show is edited and and how I could be saying that he's, you know, hanging out with me because I'm a wafter and I'm trying to explain to him, you know what, you need to chill out because this is what being in the loft is all about. They're going to take your life and they're going to make stories of it and of course a part of you hanging out with me is fun and exciting because I am a lofter. So just admit to that and just relax because if 
you know, you're freaking out. It's not going to change anything. And about me being wanting to be a launcher, two things about that. One, I don't necessarily have it decided if I want to be a lofter. So, like, I'm not diehard to be a lofter. And two, it's not like I watched the show a million times and said, I want to be a lofter, and then came and met you and said, now I really want to be a lofter. Okay. Sorry, say that again? Oh. I didn't hear you. What? What? No, Trey's laughing at us, okay? So I just had to figure out what he was laughing at. So I like being on the chat, yeah? That's, but I don't like being on TV. It's completely different. Okay, well, you agreed to do a confessional. I what? You agreed to do a confessional. Yeah. So obviously you knew that you were going to be on TV. I can relate their relationship to what goes on in the loft easily because the loft broke Adele and I up. <laughs> um, and so I know it's hard and um, it's definitely changed uh, my lifestyle and changed me a little bit. It's not fun to me anymore. I'm just going to like ring you down and you're like... Can you come down? We're ready to go out now. And then I'll see you goodbye. Okay, we'll do that then. All right. We'll do that for a month. And then maybe things will change. <laughs> All right. Then maybe maybe the rest of Canada will think that I actually like you. Yeah. It's unfortunate, but, I mean, once you're kind of like in the spotlight, you have cameras on you all the time, you kind of do get worried that the people that are hanging out with you are hanging out with you because you're in the spotlight and you you're a lofter, you know what I mean? And obviously because Adam, you know, is, you know, is in with acting and he wants to be a lofter next year, that's obviously something that's cool for him, you know what I mean? I, I can see us going out without me being a lofter, do you know what I mean? Like I can see that him, him liking me for Sandy. I didn't Phoenix. get the message. At the Phoenix. I didn't get the message. Phoenix. What about the Phoenix? They were having like the best concert. They were the best concert. It was like African tribe. Oh, but I didn't know. I didn't know you called. But let's face it. I mean, obviously it's fun because he loves being in the loft. Um, he loves being on chat. So a part of the excitement for him is me being a lofter as well. been slightly bothered that a lot of the wafters have been saying that he's only been hanging out in the loft and hanging out with me because he wants to be a wafter next year and because he wants exposure because he wants to be an actor so every time he phones me up he's freaking out about how the show is edited and and how I could be saying that he's you know hang out with me because I'm a wafter and I'm trying to explain to him you know what you need to chill out because this is what being in the loft is all about. Lofters, it's not like it's not like the, the people you live with are like Brad Pitt and Jennifer Aniston. These people are the lofters. I know. That's what's so I mean, sad. I'm not people trying to like. It. That's I'm what's sad about people that want to hang out like with us. Bubble, but like, it's not like the be all and all of celebrity. Okay, you know hold up. Right? Two seconds. Yeah. Um, that's the sad part is that people actually act as though it is that far. People need to just chill out. But because it's TV, period, they're freaking out. Trey, off. I used to think that love was enough, but I don't think it is anymore. Being on TV um, has exposed my personal life to the world. Okay, all I'm saying is that there are people. Shut up for what, two seconds. What I'm saying is there are. It takes. There are people who actually do want to hang out with us because we're in this loft. Regardless if we are Jennifer Aniston, Brad Pitt, or not, people actually think that way. So it's not that I thought that way, it's that I know that people hang out with me because of that. Okay, well... That's the point. Okay, well... And what I said, if you listen for two seconds, <clears throat> what I have said, if you watch the show, is that you would have hang out, hung out with me regardless if I was a lofter or not. But I know that this is part of the excitement. So that should be like one line in a 30-minute show, and then they shouldn't base 50 okay, other minutes on but me. you're acting like you're mad at me when I don't edit the show. First, when I was in the loft and, you know, breakups in the loft, I thought, you know what? If your relationship's so strong, you should be able to withstand whatever the hell's going on in the loft. Um, the only problem is if you're starting a relationship, being in the loft, it may be a little bit weirder. Like, I always thought, like, for celebrities, I'm not saying that we're, you know, celebrities, but for celebrities, 
having relationships and how they claim it's so difficult. I thought, whatever, obviously your love isn't strong enough or you're not working on your relationship enough, so that's a problem. But then everybody's got their own take on it and they think, you know what, being in the loft, it is very difficult having a relationship. And I can see that happening, but still, maybe because I haven't found somebody that I really love or, or like and, and seen if it works or not, it's really hard to say whether it would work or not work. I'm kind of, I can't say from my own experience. I would assume that being in the loft shouldn't affect your relationship if you love each other. But it's a fine line. Okay. All right. Uh, all right. Okay. I'll give you whatever. I'll speak to you later. Okay. Bye. Bye. It's so much easier to go on just two dates.